Nowadays, you don't need to buy or learn an instrument anymore. You can just download a piano and lay down a chord progression without even knowing how to play the piano. If you do have some experience in music, you have an advantage. But that doesn't mean that everything is lost for people who don't. You need to think for a second. What is it that separates computer melodies from an instrument being played by a real human? The answer is mistakes, but we'll come back to that in a second. Here you have a beautiful piano melody which I just created with my mouse. It's okay, but it sounds a little bit too static. Everything is exactly on beat, which is impossible for us humans. Hold down Alt on your keyboard and slightly offset the notes one by one. You can also press Alt plus S on your keyboard to open up the strummer. If you play with the time control, you can adjust how much strum or offset the notes get. The harder you press a note in a piano, the louder it sounds. That is in real life, but in FL Studio, MIDI notes are just notes. They're all the same, unless you play around with the velocity. Randomize the velocity so that every note has a slightly different volume. It almost already sounds real. Now I just told you guys something about mistakes, let's get to that. In your melody in the piano roll, right before a note place, add another one but place it one note lower. Make it super short and decrease the velocity so that it's barely hearable. Now it sounds like a little subtle mistake played by a human being. Now it feels realistic. Head over to the menu on the bottom and choose panning. With this one you can move the audio to the left or the right. This doesn't necessarily mean that it sounds more real, but it definitely helps increase the dynamics. This will make it feel like it's moving around more. Creating a feeling to an instrument is pretty important and that can be done with effects. If you want the melody to sound a little bit further away, simply cut off a small portion of the high frequencies using an equalizer. This is being done for a few reasons. For example, when you're making lo-fi. Here's a quick bonus trick for you guys. If you have a bad computer and you're only doing small changes like this, just use the built-in EQ in the mixer panel. Every mixer track has its own and it's just sitting there, so why not use it? Okay, back to the lo-fi thing. You want it to sound old and muffled and to do that, you can download an effect called vinyl. It's completely free by the way. With this effect you can add dust, scratches or my favorite one, the wobble effect. Sounds super real, but not just because of the vinyl plugin, I also did something to the melody itself. I added 7 notes to my chord progression and that will make it sound more jazzy or chill. Okay, now I want you to think for a second, what is your most favorite melody trick? Let me know and maybe I'll make a video about it. 10 FL Studio tips in less than 2 minutes, I promise you won't be disappointed. I gotta go now! Goodbye!